Hello guys and welcome back to the Moki Moki channel. Yeah, so what's up today? Oh, let's do a little quick uh, deck profile video today. So, uh, before we jump into this, remember, subscribe and like for my content if you enjoy this video. And um, yeah, uh, tell us in the comments what you think. Of course, this is a semi-competitive semi build. It's not meant to be a, a, a tournament winning deck no, by any means. It's water. And we jump right into it with Olivia Dragon. Uh, Daedalus, he is um, a power card with um, Legendary Ocean, basically a um, semi-Chaos Imperator Dragon effect by putting all the cards of, uh, to the graveyard by just putting uh, Yumi from the field to the grave. Um, but of course, you keep your hand cards and stuff, and he stays also on the field. But the really great removal uh, effect is just really powerful. And of course, you play him. Of course, uh, he has uh, seven stars here, but with Legendary Ocean and six, so only one tribute. It's really nice. Go ga 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 go ga go blah blah blah. I don't know how to pronounce this guy, and he is, he's even in Korean. Just um, letting you know, you don't need to tribute with this guy <laughs> if you have Legendary Ocean on the field. At 2,650 attack points is a lot of attack points. <laughs> All right, the best water monster, of course, besides uh, Tribe is uh, Abyss Soldier. He is just great. Of course, mentioning Tribe already, he's also, of course, in here. They, they are the discarding uh, army by uh, putting cards back to the hand and just removing cards from your opponent. And um, they work, of course, also with Since the Serpent. Really good. This is the card they want to see. Uh, this is the card you want to use with them, they are just great combos. Alright, of course, we play the triple recruiter, Mother Grizzly. She's just great. She recruits 1500 attack points, monsters, uh, water monsters from the deck. So we play a few of those. We play her. She can attack twice when Yumi is on the field, which is, of course, really nice with 1700 uh, 1, Legendary Ocean. Revival Gem. Uh, Ryax himself this can be also really, really good uh, if you want to tribute him, and uh, of course, if you want to field presence still on the field, really nice. Uh, he just needs to be destroyed by battle, that's his condition. And um, of course, Amphimorg Rata, I cannot pronounce his name as well, and he's in Korean, so. Um, yeah, he can attack your opponent's life points directly, which can come in handy pretty much. And then Yomi ship, uh, yeah, some removal destruction effect it can be really quite useful. And then we have the one lonely penguin soldier, one of my old time favorite cards from back in the day. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, I think, one of the really old cards for me. Yeah. Starter deck Joey, first edition man. I love this guy. Uh, yeah, Sengen to search. Tsukiyomi to put cards face down. Really, really simple. Uh, it's a simple deck. Heart of Greed. And the power. Light of Trinity. Power cards. Power cards. Power cards. More power cards. Power cards to get rid of face down monsters. Uh, we need to play Legendary Ocean because this is a water deck and it helps us with our effect points. Also boosts our attack and lowers our star levels. So... Really good. Salvage because recycling two water monsters from the graveyard to your hand can be really good. Who knew that? And of course, you play two scapegoats. <laughs> yeah, just the scapegoat control, but a little bit more defense, a little bit more variety, a little bit more of metamorphosis, a little bit more of creature swap because we have also recruiter engine. We have Tokyomi, which works also quite nice with the creature swap. We have Sang and we have we have a lot of crazy stuff we can do with this. This card actually really works pretty well. Uh, one Book of Moon, I, I forced myself, I wanted to play two, I couldn't find 
a way to pull in this, the second one. Of course, there will be now in the comments somewhere this guy saying, Oh, why did you play this card? You could have played the second Book of Moon. But, oh, uh, well, fuck you. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. Um, I really, like, the most thing people will say much, uh, Oh, I did. why did you play Call of the Hunted Man? You could just play second Book of Moon. But, you know, I could revive that shit with this. You know, this is... This is great. You can just discard this and revive it and then nuke the whole fucking board. It's like crazy. <laughs> so yeah, no, maybe. I don't know. I, I just play this. I like it. Uh, remove all the field. Remove all your attacking monsters and uh, win me wins me games. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, that's a water deck. Um, it's just fun, guys. It's a, it's a semi-competitive water deck build. Um, as much as I would like to say that you could make a really, really competitive water build, you can probably not. They have like too many limits. Even when you try out things with Fenry and stuff, I've been there, I did that. It's just not, it's just not working out in the way like you wish that it would be really powerful. Of course, there's one more option I could do, which is not as bad as um, some people may think, is Water Ghost. But I preferred the version with Tsukiyomi and um, with Ghosts because I think it's a little bit more versatile. Because if you play on your own Goat, a Goat engine, it's, that's a staple. That just works. Tsukiyomi against a lot of other decks works as well and um, this is why I've, I have chosen this because I've, I thought like this would be more stable than going for, for, for more water shenanigans but of course if you're already building a semi-competitive deck build you can pretty much throw in the stuff you want to do it's, it's your deck you can also go for Fenrir, you can go for Water Ghost you could go for, I don't know, more, even more monsters you don't, don't need to tribute. And me, maybe you can even go for, this guy has an, even a Neo form, it's, I think it's already legal in go from it. I think so. I think you can also or, already play a guy that's even better, that you can only summon with tribute him him. That's crazy. But not really competitive. <laughs> but of course, it's what you want to do, guys. So. And um, again, that's it for me, guys. So I will sign out now. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, please leave a sub. Let us grow this channel. That's it for me. Peace out, Moki Moki Senpai.